welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you today with a new video. Um, if you tuned in at the beginning of the week, I just upgraded and painted the grill in this 2019 F-150 that I've got. And just recently, the week before that, I color matched the mirrors. So getting into today's episode, I kind of thought I would go around and kind of show you guys the upgrades I've done to this truck so far. And so you guys can follow along, kind of know what I paid for this stuff and just kind of see how easy it is to upgrade your F-150 and make it look a lot cleaner than what it did from the factory. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys, the first thing I did, I actually took these out of my other F-150 when I traded it in and I was able to keep these here. Um, but I think it is a must have, don't know if it's really an upgrade, but um, it's definitely a must have on any truck, any vehicle you guys have, but it is the WeatherTech Tech Liner floor mats. Um, here is the liners that I have. I just cleaned these things. Um, honestly, I would not have any other vehicle that did not have some type of um, kind of laser measured floor mat in it. Um, these things, honestly, they cover all the way to this door sill over here and kind of up the side by your gas pedals where your feet will kind of touch on the sides. Honestly, I've done the ones in the front and I've also got the big one in the back back here and if you guys like taking care of your stuff making your stuff look brand new um, and it's definitely carpet this would be the way to go um, these things are easy enough to just pull out hit with the hose and I've got some uh, floor mat kind of kind of like a floor mat renewer from chemical guys that I use to keep these things looking black and uh, keep them pretty pliable and those kind of things but definitely guys if you've never had weather techs they are something to have and uh, that would be the first upgrade that I did on this F-150. Also not an upgrade, but if you guys have not found these yet from Little Trees, Caribbean Colada, I've got about six of them sitting there and I've got an entire door panel full of them in here. And really, these things smell amazing. They're my favorite air freshener by far and uh, can't have enough of those things. Okay, so those first two little upgrades, I guess I said, were the WeatherTech mats and I just showed you some of the kind of air fresheners I ran. But legitimately one of the big upgrades that I've done is this is a Rough Country hard trifold cover. Um, I think I paid like, I wanna say it was like $5.99 for this thing. And honestly, it's one of the cheaper tonneau covers here. It's just a trifold, so it's not like a roll up or anything like that. But this thing keeps the, it fits the bed. It doesn't have any like weird gaps along the sides. I've seen some of them that kind of hang over. And this thing keeps this bed pretty watertight. If you guys look up here in the front, if you can see it, it has got a little flap up in here somewhere. The flap pulled out and make sure that kind of runs over the side of the bed. But this is one of the things that helps keep it real watertight. And then it's foam all along the sides down here. And then when you open this thing up, it has got another little rubber flap right here that keeps the water out and this thing's super easy um, it's not like a super complicated design but really if you want to open it you just do these and pull them off to the side and the thing folds up um, huge plus though because I live in an apartment so I don't really have a garage for storage or anything so I can keep my toolbox up there and I keep ratchet strapped to the front of the bed so it doesn't slide around I keep a like half inch uh, cobalt impact over there in case I have to like change tires or anything. I'm um, a bucket to keep all my microfibers in. I'm able to keep my fishing poles in here and the backpack with all my fishing equipment in it. My uh, muck boots, any kind of you know, windshield washer fluid. I keep a detail bucket out here when it's not winter time. I've got a water hose and just it's kind of like a, just a small little garage for me. So honestly, if I didn't have this, I would not be able to keep all this stuff in the bed of my truck and keep it safely in my apartment or feel like I could do anything like that. And honestly, um, if I travel anywhere or go on vacation, you can put uh, suitcases and stuff back here, not have to worry about anybody breaking into this thing. And uh, you know, it's better than the, uh, like the vinyl soft covers that somebody could take like a knife and cut into. You'd really have to put some effort into breaking into this thing. So if you've got a truck and you keep anything in the bed, Honestly, one of these uh, Rough Country Trifold hard covers here are the way to go. Bed, another upgrade that I've done. This is a uh, WeatherTech. This is one of their tailgate liner mats. 
and honestly this thing was like a 5-10 minute install. It took more time getting it out of the package than it actually did installing it. The thing fits nice, it doesn't lift, it's got um, double sided tape with some velcro pads so you can take this thing off if you need to access the inside of the gate to like get to the handle or the emblem or anything like that. But one of these, it looks better than the inside of a painted tailgate, um, it holds up a lot better, you're not scratching your tailgate. and. Uh, I honestly recommend if you guys have the first thing you would do on one of these trucks is put one of these WeatherTech um, tailgate mats on it. If you guys have been following along in the videos before, you've seen these fuel wheels that I've put on this truck that came off my last F-150. Um, I'm a big wheel guy, not a big uh, stock wheel fan, definitely not the stocks on this sport here. Um, my STX that I had came with factory 20s on it that actually looked pretty decent but I went ahead and put these on. So this truck came with factory 18s on it and they were kind of like a charcoal gray kind of wheel if you've watched the videos before. But these are a 20 by nine fuel tech. Um, I bought them off of uh, Mr. Wheel Deal. Uh, back when I had my shop, I was able to get like fuel deals and stuff like that. But since I closed that shop, I don't get the discounts anymore. And the best price I could find was through Mr. Wheel Deal. I got tires, wheels, sensors, mounted, balanced, shipped to me and all that was like less than $1,800. So really you can't find anything more than that. Um, if you can install them yourself, that would be the best way to go. These are just the stock size tires that came on the truck. Um, nothing bigger, nothing smaller, but I did put a 20 inch wheel on them and they've got a negative 18 back spacing on them. So we'll go ahead and I'll give you guys a closer look at these wheels here. I've got you guys here at a closer look on these wheels. I did a lot of research on these wheels and looking for what would look good on these trucks. And these were different. Um, not a whole lot of people were running them at the time. I like them because they're different and you're not gonna go to the store or go out or go somewhere and find somebody with a truck with identical wheels to yours. I definitely thought these were fairly different. Um, I like the spokes on them. They are a negative 18 offset here. Um, I really like the finish. They've held up really well. I've ceramic coated them a couple times and uh, before I put them away for the winter and those kind of things. But big fan of these wheels. Love the fuel stuff. Love the fuel tech. Um, they offer these in like a charcoal gray the black and they also offer them in a bronze so and then over here to the tires that I've put on them they're a Nitto 420 um, they're just a stock tire size 275 55 R20 um, but this truck came with 18s on it um, my STX came with factory 20s so this is the exact same size tire that came off of it the wheels just a little bit wider but honestly I love this tire and wheel setup um, this is the first time I've ever done like these street tires I've always had uh, I had BFG all terrains at one time. I had a couple sets of uh, Nitto trail grapplers. I put a lot of ridge grapplers on Jeeps and stuff when I was back in business. And uh, this is definitely a little bit different route for me, but I like how it looks. I like how it rides. So while we're over here at the wheels again, um, besides my little uh, spike valve stem cap here that I love, every set of wheels I have has something like that on it but I have got um, the spiked lug nuts, spiked and splined. These are Coyote brand from Amazon, I think. Um, when I ordered these, I tried to order true spikes and they were gonna be like $170, which are like top of the line spike lug nuts you can get. Um, they actually go on like a regular lug nut and then the spike is actually a cap. But when I went to order them, they were out of stock and I just kind of hated paying that much for it. And so I found these on Amazon. Um, did a lot of research on these. They have got really good reviews and they're just like a powder coat, but this is a all-in-one spiked lug nut. So it's fairly long. It comes with a really big uh, deep well socket and it's got these splines instead of the normal uh, hexes like a lug nut would have. And you just put at the end of the socket like a uh, three-quarter inch impact socket on the end of that. And that's what attaches to your uh, socket that comes for these lug nuts so you got to have a specialty socket for it i keep it in the glove box of the truck in case i ever have any kind of trouble and things like that but these lug nuts are awesome um, the finish on them is kind of so-so um, i've thought about having these things powder coated but honestly for for fifty dollars you really can't go wrong with these here and they look pretty good for the most working part. working our way around the truck we have done the wheels and now we're back over here to these mirror caps um, a lot of these trucks, you do not get color matched mirror caps on these. 
Um, I think like the, I wanna say the Limiteds, but I almost think the Limiteds are like a brushed finish. But these ones, um, they came textured black. I popped them off a couple weeks ago and they were just textured black, just like the rest of this mirror is right here. And I just wanted a little break up in the color here. So I took them into work, um, sanded the texture out of them with like uh, 80 and 150 grit and then uh, primed those to get, cause when you sand that plastic, it gets kind of fuzzy. So you prime them to get the fuzziness out of them and prime over the rest of the texture, um, blocked those out and then went ahead and painted them the uh, UG or UX, UX silver that this truck is and popped these things back on. Um, made a huge difference of the mirrors, kind of broke it up a little bit, put a little bit of color in there and uh, definitely an upgrade that I like, makes them look a lot classier, makes them kind of look like a model up and the textured black, you find that in a lot of the, uh, the base models, a lot of the lower end things and the more painted parts you get, you get to the more higher ends like the limiteds and the platinums. Um, Lariats and King Ranches and those kind of things. Right next to the mirror, I have got the Ronin stubby little antenna here that I've got. This is actually the third one that I've had. I had one on the first truck that I had, that was an 05. I put one on my 17, and then I put one on this 19 here. Um, this is so much better than the big dangly three foot antenna that comes on these things. You would think by 2019, they would find a way to make a better antenna that's not eight foot tall and taller than the roof and gets hit on sticks going down the road and those kind of things. But these Ronin ones are the best ones that I found visually wise. Um, this is just the stubby one. They make the ones that are like, look like the 50 cal bullets and those kind of things. Um, I just like this one. It's small, it's sleek. Um, it's got a really nice finish to it. It's like an anodized aluminum. The reception on it is so-so. It picks up local channels. Um, there's a stations that I listen to like 50 miles away in Indianapolis, but they kind of pick up kind of fuzzy, but really, um, if you listen to local stuff, this is fine. But really I listen to like Pandora, uh, my Sirius, I think honestly just ran out like yesterday from when I bought this thing and listen to Sirius, listen to a lot of Pandora. I really honestly don't listen to a whole lot of FM radio. So really this is just for looks. Um, people kind of ask me how the reception is on it and this has got Apple CarPlay on it, so I really don't use that a whole lot. But that is a fairly cheap little upgrade there. I wanna say it was like 34 or $35. Super easy install, a lot of instructions. Ronin is an awesome company. I think I'm saying it right. I think it's Ronin. And uh, they do a lot of cool truck giveaways and they um, are pretty like American tried and true patriotic company. Pretty awesome to support them on the truck. And I've had three of their antennas so far on my truck. So honestly, good company, wouldn't go with anybody else. Around to the front of the truck, which I believe is the last little upgrade that I've done to this so far. And that would be, I color match the sport grill. So if you guys watched my last, I guess it's my last two videos. I did one that was a removal video. And then the next one was me painting and installing this grill. Um, it kind of came these three main bars here were all a uh, like a charcoal gray that's what you get with these sport f-150s and um so i took the grill out and it was all able to paint it was just normal automotive paint that i was able to sand down and paint just like any other panel and then while i was at it i took the emblem apart and painted everything that was chrome it's now silver everything that is blue is now flat black so kind of broke it up on the front end of this truck uh, made a huge difference when I bought this truck, first thing I said was the grill has got to go. And I wanted to do an STX grill and I kind of looked at the price on them and kind of figured I might be able to uh, paint this grill and see how I like it a little better. And honestly, with the way this thing looks, um, it makes it look more kind of like a, uh, more like a limited or a platinum that has the kind of brushed aluminum looking grill in it. And this thing looks a hundred times better. So, We've made our way around this truck. I've kind of showed you guys all the upgrades I've done to it so far. Um, I've got a couple other things I want to do. I don't want to get real carried away with this truck. Um, sometime in the next couple weeks, I'm definitely going to get the windows tinted. Um, my last truck, I did 5% all the way around on the four windows and then did a 50% windshield tint on it. Um, I'm definitely going to do the 5% all the way around on this. I'm kind of torn if I want to do the windshield tint or not. 
it definitely looks good um, I didn't have a whole lot of trouble at night seeing through it but it's one of those things I don't really know if I want to spend the money to do it or not but uh, drop a comment below let me know if you guys like your windshields tinted if you like the brow or if you just leave them alone um, but really that's kind of all I've got so far um, I'm looking into some Bilstein I think it's a 5100 series rear shocks um, kind of contemplating on those they say they're a lot better than the ones from factory not really having any trouble with them but it's just one of those things it's a couple hundred bucks might be a good upgrade um, might be a good install video for you guys to watch on that and kind of tag along on and also if you guys are curious i will post all the links in the description below for all these products that i have featured so you guys can find these and then possibly find the best deal on them that i can find show you where i bought them through and hopefully you guys can get them for your truck or a corresponding you guys business. have made it this far in the video you've seen everything that i've upgraded on this f-150 drop a comment below if you like the upgrades or also leave one if you have some ideas for some upgrades that you think i'm missing on this thing um, definitely hit the like button the likes definitely help a whole lot more than you guys think um, turn on the notification bell i'm trying to post a little bit more this will probably be i think it's my third video for this week so trying to get a little more content out to you guys trying to show you a little bit more on what i'm doing to this truck and kind of you know just what i'm doing on my regular saturdays and my weekends and those kind of things so hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will catch you guys on the next one